Hello there, the Fable Harp Uno here, ready for another Toxic Trollmaker quest in which I hunt a high rank Great Proggy, this time with the Dual Blade Weapon class and the Lord of Pair Plus as the weapon of choice since I don't really have any access to new forgeable or upgradable Dual Blades. Going for the Water Elemental damage this time, I think I leave the ice for another monster. Stats wise, this weapon. Let's see, compared to most of the others. Decent raw, I believe. Decent sharpness. Maybe a bit low for a dual blade. Flame Storm seems a bit better. Trinacris is below. Blood Wings better. But it is poison, so. Not useless, but somewhat ineffective versus the Great Roggy. Brother Flames. Snow Slicers would probably be a better option here. Even if it has a less ice elemental, the fact that the believe that the Great Roggy takes more ice damage than water overall should compensate for that. But still it seems to be an okay dual blade. Mercury Edges is the other water one. I already recently used it. Might have gone for this one just because of the high raw and the blue sharpness. But since I've used it last time, don't want to be abusing the same weapon over and over again for too long, like to swap them around. So this is the weapon of choice. Now I am using the Ludroth U-type armor. Counts with status attack, which is will have no effect here since the dual blaze I'm using don't have any status damage, but I'm doing it because of the Marathon Runner. And it is a high rank armor, so it does provide extra protection. Defense points. We do have a speed sharpening, sharpening as well, which is nice. Should be able to keep the sharpness in the green for the most part. And foods here, again, no offensive mixes since they lack in fresh meat items. Could go for the Fenders, the Fendon Polisher. Well I have speed sharpness so polisher has no effect. No need swimming. And I'm not really gathering. Oracorn Booster. The booster might be okay if I start near the Great Roggy. Don't really want the elemental mixes. Not great, not a great uh, amount of. Not a great selection, basically. Weakener, maybe. Lower its uh, max health. Or limit its max health, more like by what I've understood of this skill. So, Toxic Troll Maker once again. Lately, we haven't seen the Raytheon pop up. Been killing it quickly enough. I haven't been using uh, the other food skill, the game changer one. Which way am I going? This way. For a moment, there I thought I heard uh, Raytheon's flapping wings. Okay, let's be careful here with the mailings again. They die for those potions. It's pretty much the first thing they would take. Okay, I just walked into a poison cloud. And I walked into it again. Luckily enough, I think Kayamba did an antidote dance. Probably triggered by the previous uh, poison.
Ouch. Not really doing much of a uh, interest, just slicing away. Probably trying to get the head. Diving in. Oh, missed the head. No good spot, I was just stuck uh, because of that little rock. Or medium sized rock. Could try to heal up. Suppose I should. Not really bothered with paintballs, but it's annoying that they keep showing up and stealing or trying to steal stuff. Okay, kind of broken there for some reason. We'll follow up probably. Let's see if I can reach the head. It's exhausted now, so it'd be nice to go for it. Nice, we have the break. Maybe one of those shinies is from the break. Usually it drops one. Yeah, there we go, we're in here. Would have preferred a larger one. Quite extra as any. But you don't always get it. Okay, it's running away. Let's chase it. And now, now we need to watch out for the little roggies they are about. Okay, lost sharpness now, so time to sharpen. Nice try, okay, Amber, with that boomerang. You to aim it better. Okay, nice back swing of that door blade that knocked a roggy that was about to body slam me from the air. Good idea to keep on walking into its attack zones. What the? <laughs> keep getting hit. And a body slammed up here out of nowhere. And one of the little ones. I think that they're all dead. Oh, didn't dash out in time. In fact, I need to heal. It's a bit dangerous having this amount of health. Okay, it's limping. Can we kill it before it goes to the nest? Probably not. So it's enraged and limping. Okay. Limping away again. Once it's limping, it doesn't really stay long in the same area, does it? Okay, it's enraged again.
I wish it stopped back hopping so much. And we'll move on to the next final area for the kill. Does that bad habit always knock me into the next area? Okay, should I show up and probably, I mean though, it's probably next to death. But since it's just a one swipe sharpening, it should be okay. Ooh, boy. And there we go. A few more hits. That's all it took. And 42 minutes remaining. So we collect our hides, higher grade hides, and more high grade hides. Royal Rhinos, I think, yeah, I prefer divine ones. If you have to be Zenny, I prefer divine ones. Oh. Although multiple royal ones, I guess it's okay. It's, ex it's extra Zenny nonetheless. At least these few last quests I've done without performing forges or upgrades. I saved up a bit of zenny from not spending it on an upgrade or a forge. I believe I pretty much dropped close to 500 zenny in the last couple of hunts. Monsters. That's what was in the Great Roggy. Anyway, rewards. Average amount. Got hides, braces, more hides, king beat, not king, killer beetles, blood run jewels, and again, buffy fight all, exactly in the first same spot. This must be a 100% drop for the first item, always guaranteed or something. Topsing sacks, and bird weaving gems. Yeah, 800 extra any, that's not bad. I 900s length great roggy and that's pretty much it so this has been the fabled harpo fabled harpooner hunting I highly rank great roggy the toxic troublemaker quest with the dual blade weapon class and a Ludroth pair plus as the weapon of choice Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time and good hunting.